Hey Cancer, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Thank you so much to all of my new and existing subscribers. I love you guys so much. I love you. Have a great day. <laughs> Y'all see that uh, Instagram video of the guy with his dog. Alright, let's see what God Angels Universe has for you. We have... Ooh, Hermit Virgo at the bottom. This says, con this says conflicted. This says I want to talk to somebody or somebody's trying to talk to me or getting, getting in touch with me. But to an extent, it's almost like I don't really trust them. I don't necessarily know their true intentions. And... Um, I'm going to wait and see, you know, I'm going to wait and see um, for them to prove their love or prove to me that they really want me. I'm going to hope for the best. But in the meantime, I'm not revealing any of my true thoughts and or feelings with this person. Okay. With the Knight of Swords and then also the Nine of Cups. I don't know. I'm just getting you got that feeling, uh, right? Like that love and feeling. This person is um, like saying all of the right things. They're trying to appeal to your emotions. They're trying to be exactly what it is that you want. I do kind of feel like they're moving a little bit too fast and that's making you uncomfortable. This is communication rushing in. These are thoughts rushing in. Um, are you falling in love all over again with somebody, uh, Cancer? Who just recently showed up or is attempting to rekindle something. Yeah, look at that speed. Look at the speed of the Eight of Wands. You have Leo here with the Strength card. Um, They're softening you up. This is somebody who you could have kicked all the way out of your life. But they're coming back in with the sweet and flowery words. They're up in your DMs. They're up in your messaging. They're texting you good morning every day. It's almost like they doing a bit too much. Okay. They're like, this is a boatload of communication coming into you, Cancer. Um, because again, they're trying to, they're trying to quote unquote flip you, right? You could have gave them the business of the, you know, lion, you know, your lion ass, you need to get, go get somewhere. And now they trying to get back in. So they, they ain't trying to talk to the lion. It's like, yeah, mm, let me talk to Huff real quick. Hi, boo. I like your hair. You know what I mean? It's somebody who's really working their asses off to flip you. And look at, we have the hanged man here twice speaking of flipping, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? This is Pisces. These are the two fish, right? They're either swimming towards each other or they're swimming away from each other. And I feel like this is you, Cancer. You are a little stuck and swirly right now. That is a word, swirly. Right? Going back and forth. Don't know what to do. It's like one minute they look like this or one minute I feel like this. Next minute I don't know what the freak to do. You know, what I'm also getting for some of you, they go the chills. All right? Um, the angels are just showing up in these readings. But I feel like for some of you guys, it's almost like they know I want to be married. They know I want to be in something stable. And they know to an extent maybe they're the person I want to be stable with. But I don't know. Right? This person kind of, quote unquote, is in and out, up and down, left and right. Or this could be you, Cancer, in and out, up and down and left and right. I feel like you are screaming for stability in whatever this situation is with whomever is in it with you. Okay? With the Ace of Cups and then also the Eight of Swords, right? You want to open up your heart, but you don't trust this person. Point blank, period. You know what I mean? I also kind of feel like in all of this damn communication... That's exactly what they keep telling you. Oh, you can trust me. Look, haven't I been saying a good morning to you for the last two weeks? Dude, I don't give a shit about no last two weeks. Let's try the last two years, right? Stability. Let's try the last two years. No, your ass has been up and down, in and out. I can't stand that when people come back and they do something a little bit and all of a sudden they want a gold star. You know what I mean? And I just kind of feel like to an extent, can't cancer again, you're conflicted. You don't know, you want to open up your heart. This is your heart and your person. This is the person who can fill your cup. 
but you don't trust their asses. You don't trust them as far as you could throw their ass. And trust me, Cancer, you have thrown their asses a couple of times. Okay? Um, what I'm also being told to tell you, too, is if you feel like this, this is happening for a reason and on purpose. So if you're feeling like you can't trust them, if you feel like the person is still untrustworthy, you're feeling that for a reason. Do not ignore it. Okay? We got Sagittarius. He is showing up. And Capricorn, Sag and Capricorn, right? Basically saying, let it go. Or is it, is, is, okay, is this, <laughs> you know how they say the third time is the charm? For you, Cancer, it's like, okay, is the 33rd time the charm? And it's almost like you just want to get rid of them and let them go, but they keep bringing their asses back. This is the card of karma. Yeah, sometimes we are on the top of the wheel. Sometimes we are on the damn bottom of the wheel. Okay? And definitely with the world card, it's like you... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know this person like the back of your hand and all four of your damn knuckles. You know what I mean? But for some reason, they they keep they keep making their way back in. They keep making their way back in, but you don't trust them, but you love them. You love them, but you don't trust them, right? So now it's just like, all right, I just need some time. Let me go ahead and, and, and take some time to myself, pray, meditate, do whatever it is that you need to do, right? And get my shit right side up, okay? Because right now, I'm just all over the place. This person keep damn coming in and... You know, telling me all these things. Knowing I'm a damn water sign, I'm going to get emotional. They keep coming in trying to appeal to my emotions. They know what to do. This person is being aggressively emotional with you. Cancel. They're being aggressively emotional. And they know that's how they make their way back in. You know what I mean? But you have divine timing there. Right? You have divine order in that wheel of fortune. The universe controls the speed and the movement of that wheel them, right? Not your ass, definitely not your person, you know. Also, what I'm being told too is, yeah, if it's a time for them to come in, you may want to let them in. But please know, Cancer, they're going to carry their asses right on back out, right? It's almost like you want a permanent situation with a temporary person. Boop, uh-oh. All right, let's see what Romance Angels has for you, Cancer. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. That's why they keep getting back in. You know it. But a lot of the times, people get confused with soulmates, right? That's the Hollywood bullshit. They think their soulmates are supposed to be your happily ever after. No, soulmates come in to help you on your evolutionary path. They come in to help push you from the second grade to the third grade, right? It don't mean you have to marry your soulmate. It don't mean you have to be with your soulmate for the rest of your eternity. It just means that we cool like that. I agree to come and help you out when you living in this lifetime on earth. That's it, right? I feel like that's what fucks you up too, Cancer, because a lot of you is like, yeah, I can't get rid of him. He just won't go. She just won't go. They must be my divine flame, you know, divine flame. Yep, we gonna go ahead and use that term. They must be my divine partner, my soulmate, my twin flame. Uh-huh, they could be. But again, it doesn't mean that happily ever after was also written as a part of your life contract. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. That just means, listen, if you're in it, be in it. Make the effort. If you want, this person comes in, again, temporary person, you want a permanent situation. If they come in and they have a purpose, let them in. Play with them for a little while. Then let them go. Because they're going to leave. Okay? So either make the effort to stay in or make the effort to get out. You can't do both. Or if you do both, get rid of that whole perception of it being permanent. Okay? Separation. Uh, time apart from your, from your partner is on the horizon. Right? Again, that's that in and out. Right? And it's weird because, again, I said to you guys earlier, you keep going back and forth. You keep going back and forth. Look at the cards. It was represented in your cards with your soulmate. Make the effort and then separate. Make the effort, then separate. Wheel of Fortune is going to keep going around. Last card, children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, normally, I would read this card as be, you know, um, yeah, kids could be affected. Your person could be childish. Your person could be immature. But for you, Cancel, on today's episode, I will say to you, go on and strap up. Because that means fertility. Okay. All right. 
Anyway, guys, if it does resonate, <laughs> sorry, I just had to laugh. If it does resonate, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love you, Cancer. Bye.